everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion, and this is the NZXT Hue RGB LED controller. And uh, as you can see, the box is quite small for an NZXT product. Of course, we're used to seeing cases from NZXT. This is a case accessory, much like their uh, bunker and the new Aperture M um, card reader they have for the uh, five and a quarter inch drive bay. As you can see there at the top, there are a preview of uh, some of the color choices you can use and a table of specifications on the right side. Let's just start opening the box and see what you can find inside this package. And first thing you see, of course, is the LED strip itself. Now, usually you can find um, LED strips in hobby shops, uh, usually around uh, $20 for a single color of this length. This is, uh, as you can see there at the back, there is a 3M adhesive, so you can stick it in your case and right on top, they are actually a uh, coder here. It looks like uh, uh, the, those those case badges that come with some products into your uh, with your maybe your video card, your motherboard. You attach your case. Uh, it looks the the top cover looks like that in here, and of course there's 24 RGB LEDs in this two meter long strip, which is about uh, let me just do a quick conversion around 6.5 feet, if I'm not mistaken, for uh, those using feet to measure. And on each end, you can see here there's a polarity. One is a female end and this end, and they also N60 also included a cap for it just in case you're not using it. And let's take a look at the other end here. It's like the business end. It has the polarity. You just uh, a little closer you can see there. In case you can't uh, see it still, it says plus here in the top G R B. So there's polarity there. It's also a female end and this end. So um, I guess they're both female ends. Let's uh, take a look at the rest of the package and see how we connect this with the five and a quarter inch device. Let's move the box out of the way. And here it is. Uh, interesting thing to note is that the buttons, if, let me just put it inside, they're not. Uh, protruding as much compared to other uh, analog knob controls that you've seen in other fan controllers. Of course, maybe this is a a design, uh, deliberate design by NZXT so that it is compatible with their cases that have doors like the NZXT Phantom uh, or the NZXT H2. Of course, we'll try to test that out later. It's here in the front. Uh, it has a little bit of mesh design here and a, uh, these are actually, um, the construction is plastic but the uh, it simulated, simulated uh, brushed aluminum here on the front. It looks uh, quite attractive. Looks like the, uh, I think it was a Tempest 210 that kind of has that same look. It has the NZXT logo here in the front. And it has the, uh, the knobs here with the red, green, and blue knob. When they also double in function. And you can see there in brightness. And you just uh, basically press it to do that in the power. You press that as well in the middle and the mode where you can toggle up to five modes with the uh, blue knob right here on the right side. Let's take a look at the form factor. It is uh, technically this is a full size uh, five and a quarter inch device since most half sizes only have the the uh, screws in the front. So it has the uh, mounting holes in the back as well so that technically you can uh, consider it a full size five and a quarter inch device. And they also come with four screws in here so you can install it in your case. So it's a bit shorter than your uh, CD-ROM or other five and a quarter inch uh, optical devices you might install. And here, you can see at the back, you can see through the PCB here, a custom LED controller PCB and uh, program uh, there and the connectors. Let's see what these two connectors are. Let's see, and also note that there is a little bit of cable management area in here where you can run around uh, since they provide a long cable in here for the power and the LED connector. You can uh, uh, run it around there and secure it so that uh, it doesn't, uh, if you don't want it hanging in, in your case. But if you need more length, for example, you need to attach the uh, the connectors farther to the back of your case, you can also do that. So let me just try to untie this so you can see the uh, connectors here. I'm seeing one is a power connector and one is, of course, for the LED. And See here, this should be a, since we saw that the ends of the LED strip are all female, this should be a male end. See there? And there is an arrow here on the uh, left side. I'm assuming it's for the polarity of the plus sign. 
here on the other end so that you're not confused you can uh, so when you attach it like that it uh, it lights up perfectly see there and to power it it uses basically a, uh, a SATA connector. I like SATA because it's much more secure than a Molex. Most Molex they tend to uh, um, go to different directions and they're not that easy to, to plug in most of the time. And uh, this way it's much easier. And uh, most cases actually only have like uh, one or two. Uh, most power supplies, I mean, only have one or two free Molex uh, connectors these days. Uh, so uh, a SATA connector is a very ingenious way to. Uh, plug in the power for this one and uh, let's take a look at here at the bottom maybe you're missing something under feature actually no that's pretty much it uh, plenty of space in here plenty of uh, space in the back for again I said for cable management and maybe uh, I don't know maybe you can even rest your SSD there although that would have been cool if they had like a little uh, mounting hole in there and you can just install your SSD and use that extra space in there well anyway that may be for their next NZXD product well what we should do is plug this in the power and uh, demonstrate what the NZXT U RGB LED controller uh, can do and uh, what the colors look like alright so this is what it looks like we have it installed on the NZXT H2 which is a case that has a door and normally that will be a problem for um, fan controllers and LED controllers that have a rotary dial but as you can see, NZXT has designed the controls for the NZXT U so that even the NZXT H2, which has a door, can be closed without any issues. As you can see there, it doesn't uh, prop the door open. And we have the lighting installed in our NZXT H2 system in here. So I'm going to um, show you now the different various color combinations. I'm going to probably take it out again, much easier to see, or uh, maybe I'll leave it on and uh, adjust the colors and maybe demonstrate it uh, if you want. Uh, this is a default one and it appears to be showing a light white color. Let me put the camera on the tripod right now. Let's see if it is focused there. Okay. Let me pop the door open again. And let's see here, adjust the knobs. You can see some color changes. Actually, you know what? Even better if I just turn off the lights here, the room completely. I'm just slightly dimmed it so you can see. Now it is completely off. Um, you should see a lot the LED a lot better now. Although you probably can't see the internal components that much better. And continue adjusting. The first uh, switch here is the dimmer. You can see here. If you adjust it all the way down, it'll be completely dark. But if you adjust it all the way to the right, it will be, you can see, very bright there. And you can, let's see, let's push it in. See there? You can just switch between different modes. And let's see the middle one. So you add more green in there to make it more yellow. You can see, looks very golden, looks very good. See, you can't do this kind of a uh, color combination with some LEDs, so it's good that the SXC U allows, rather the SXC U allows you to make various color combinations of your choice. You're not just limited to red, greens, blues, and uh, whatever color choices are there. Let's see what the the fifth one, or the third one, I think, adjusts the the blue U. Of course, adds the blue to the mix. That's more white. That's just the green down so we can see the blue so the more purple now and let's try to go through the modes this one is the first mode see flashing in there second mode is uh, appears to be pulsating and third mode is alternating see the fourth one See it's slowly changing. It's not as rapid as the previous one. And the fifth one. Right, 
right, now you should have a good idea of what the NZXT Hue RGB LED controller can do by now. Uh, again, you can do various color combinations. You can put it in your case, especially if you have a windowed case. You can easily showcase your components. And uh, it has, uh, it runs by SATA power. And there's also a uh, 3M sticker on the back, so you can stick stick it uh, on your case. So it, uh, or maybe if you want a permanent addition, you can just maybe uh, um, put it on the sides and uh, use uh, don't use adhesive and use like a key, your maybe cable management ties to secure them. So you can maybe move it to a different system. Anyway, that uh, pretty much covers the NZXT Hue RGB LED controller overview we have and you can read the rest of the review at www.hitechlegion.com or click on the link below for the rest of my review and the conclusion and what I have awarded the NZXT Hue RGB LED controller. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.